So we are going live, live, live. From the left to right, we have Ennis, Knox, Sky, and JWH. JWH and Sky both come in from the winner's bracket finals. We saw them earlier. They have that 10-point advantage, but JWH making a mistake in the very first corner. And that's give everybody else the advantage. Sky just at the moment edging ahead, just take slightly peeking the lead there. Knox just up behind him with Ennis bringing up between, but JWH at the moment bringing up the rear. Sky's got this, these tracks, very technical, this track, huge track as well. You can see all the bollards all over the place, along with obviously the jumps on the corners. But at the moment, Sky is taking this almost perfect all the way. They only had a two laps to warm themselves up. Obviously, they know the tracks, but there is a vast amount of tracks to try and learn, so it's really a case of trying to commit them all to memory. And at the moment, Sky is playing absolutely fantastic. Knox is in second place, just to the left-hand side of him, and at the moment, he is trailing, so Sky has a big lead. Obviously, still, if he makes a major mistake, it would cost him, but he's going to get the final. Easy win there, really. Knox bringing up second place, Ennis in third, and JWH coming in fourth. Remember, JWH does have that 10-point advantage, but a fourth-place start is not exactly what he needs. Yeah, it's the same thing here. As uh, Knox was actually trailing, trailing quite good, but then it's just Enos just jumped th uh, through and scrapped, grabbed that second place. Right now it's Knox. Well, he's uh, lagging behind a little bit. We've got, uh, it looks like a JWH. In the lead, he's pounding ahead, and uh, Knox and, uh, well, Anus are just crawling behind us. We have a crash as well, as uh, if JWH has managed to hit the bollard. As, uh, well, it looks like Sky is trying to catch up towards uh, towards Enos, who's in a nice orange car, by the way. As, uh, it's just racing all over the place. It's extremely close. The, the track is extremely difficult to play. As Enos is still in the lead. He's pounding ahead. Oh, half a second lead right now. On towards Knox right now. Who is just he sees his tailpipe in the distance as JWH and Sky are battling it out. Sky in second. JWH just yeah, no, it's Knox, my apologies. Didn't see that. It's J as uh, Knox and Sky with milliseconds to spare pass the line. So Ennis in first place there, getting the 10 points. Sky coming in second place, so he's already on 16, just edging in the lead. But 14 points to Ennis. Ennis and he does have from, a 10 point lead in the he tournament. He does, yeah. So Sky's looking uh, very good at the moment. Long way to go, though. Many races ahead. So at the moment, you can just see, looks like Knox just edging the lead with Sky right on his tailpipe. Plus seconds in it. Sky on the last race managed to clip a corner near this point, but at the moment, he's coming almost perfect throughout that complex. But Knox is just sticking in in there. JWH is having third, running in third place, but Ennis just creeps on through there at the moment. So it is Sky just edging in the lead with Knox right all over him. It's neck and neck. First and second, they can't. It's literally millisecond split in between them, but Sky just put, tapping on the brakes there, giving Knox a small chance to get in there. It is really about whether they can corner it. The finish, as you just saw, it's pretty much instantly over the line through the jump. They're fast approaching it with Sky just getting the edge lead now. Dignity has Sky is in the leading position. As uh, we gone for going in for a round a number three here, as uh, well, Knox already seems to have some difficulty right off the bat. As uh, I see uh, JWH taking the lead in a magnificent battle with Sky here, the two leading uh, leading players in the tournament battling it out. As Sky inches by, and JWH is right on his tail, going over the speed trap, going out, 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 and faster, faster, faster. As Sky is slowly uh, taking the lead. And he's just going away. It's like, see, like watching Michael Schumacher in the mid '90s. He's just inching away from everybody on the track right now. Knox, uh, well, having some trouble. He's in second place. JWH is right behind him, and uh, he needs those points to, uh, well, to hope to get that sp place. Remember, the two f uh, two winners of this uh, final will go to San Jose. And uh, right now, Knox really needs those as he's going back to third. Oh, Sky made a mistake earlier on, though, getting pushed back as JWH is taking this way, and Knox in second. 
Sky third, and uh, well, Enos in the orange car, in the fourth. So we're going live, live, live once again, and JWA making a slight mistake at the start there. It's giving everybody else the chance to just creep ahead, but he also gives him the chance to just watch whether anyone's going to make a mistake. At the moment, Sky and Knox just trading blows as they make their way through the complex on the grass. Just about hanging in there. It's a fairly straight track, so if you make any mistake, you're going to lose that bit of speed, and it will just cripple your chances getting anywhere near at the moment sky just edging ahead knocks his screen just following in his wake no slipstreaming on this game it's just a case of raw driving talent and severe micro skill how the players don't come out with finger cramp i don't know well knox is challenging that because he's using the control pad at the moment sky is driving in near perfect knox there having a great corner there leading Edging into the lead, and that's put Knox right back into fourth place. There, Sky, sorry, into fourth place despite having a great start. And Knox picks up the win. Very good result. And it's getting second place. JWH getting third. And Sky, despite leading, that slight mistake put him into fourth. Yeah, it's just it just tells you everything about this game. You make a mistake, you're screwed. As uh, we're going on right now, Knox trying to take the lead. He does, this, but Enos is right on top of him in the JWH as well as Sky just inches to the side. Is, uh, well, Knox once again taking the lead. He's he's quite good in this map. He's, uh, he's he just won the last one. He's doing great. JWH and Sky all right on top of him though. As uh, Knox is forced to uh, to watch the uh, dust fly up. As uh, Sky and uh, JWH are still fighting. Now it's Sky just behind JWH. As uh, he just he's just waiting for that one little moment. The JWH is making a mistake and then he hits the side just a little bit. As uh, Knox is actually inching by again. Here he comes, just completely pounds on the side, and you know, if you hit the side once, you lose a lot of speed, and that will hurt you the entire track, as Knox is going to go on the side. Oh my! He managed to inch, uh, inch by, and just going for the lead of the race again, and he's just about to go for the finish. If he makes a mistake now, he's screwed, but he manages to get by. There it is, in the distance. As, uh, he is really going away. He's half a second there, and there he goes. His second win! Grabbing 20 points, what a race, as Enos is still on his way, but hey, there he is. Lot number three, please bring it on, Knox is back with a vengeance. Yeah, Knox getting himself in there, he needs to build a big lead, remember there is that 10 point difference that uh, JWH and Sky will have, and Sky at the moment is having a great start, managing to run through it, just making that slight error, and at the moment JWH is looking comfortable because he has technically the lead. Overall, when you add it all together, personally, I can't calculate it that quickly in my head, so I'll, uh, I'll leave that up to the admins, but at the moment, it's looking like Knox once again just grabbing that lead. Ennis in there, though, giving a really big... So slowly, just managing to keep the lead, though, but JWH creeping on through, managing to get a good run. Like I said, this is a long run, but if you're not quite got the speed, then it'll just be a huge advantage for the other players. They'll just whiz on by you, and you can't do anything about it other than just hold your finger on that accelerator. And at the moment, JWH just clawing back and creeps through past Ennis, managing to take first place at the moment. Sky just hanging on in there behind him. No! JWH makes a critical error, and that's give Ennis and Sky also making a problem. Knox just creeping on through. Can he grab he the lead? He again. has. He's going to steal victory just from the oh! jump. Oh, just clips the corner. And he steals it. Sky nicks second place. And Knox, despite looking like he was going to take it, comes in third with JWH coming after a massive error coming forth. My God. It's starting to get extremely ex yeah. exciting here now. Tense. It's uh, we're up for the for just another lap. We got we got uh, Sky in the lead, and Enos is right on top of him. But uh, Knox trying to inch his way through. We seen. He, he, we know he's capable of it. Capable of it. He, we know he can do it. And he probably will. As Knox, well, is trying to go after Sky. Sky once again, like we saw the winner bracket final, wages away from anybody else. But Knox might be able to catch up on him. Sky, if he makes a mistake now, then Knox will be right on his tailpipe and uh, taking the lead. But uh, meanwhile, HWA, JWH, and uh, Enos are uh, battling it out and uh, trying to get, the, get those points. And uh, Knox and Sky, in the meanwhile, are still fighting it out. Sky is waiting, for, just waiting and trying to, uh, to move. Uh, Knox is just waiting for him to make a mistake. If he can, run by. Both players are just 
playing in an absolutely immaculate game. And here comes the end. Here's the difficult part again. As Knox is just almost right on top of him. If Sky makes a mistake now, then Knox will take the win again. But Sky doesn't. And Knox picking up second once again. And you know what? Knox is, uh, is starting out to be the surprise contender on this track. Yeah, he's got the uh, the slight lead. He's only a five-point lead over Ennis. Seven In fact, point. that's not. That's a lie because the scores update. So it is Knox on 30, Sky on 23, 22 for Ennis and 14 for oh JWH. My. JWH having all manner of problems. And you saw him. He almost took the lead and then just bounced it clear off the track. And uh, it wasn't looking good. So at the moment, I can just about catch a glimpse. It is once again Knox and Sky trading blows for first place. And really, it's a case total. of who will make the first mistake. At the moment, Sky just take that lead, and Knox did make that mistake. Puts him back to fourth place. Sky at the moment has a bit of a clear run ahead of the pack, with JWH giving chase. JWH needs all the points he can get. He did come from the winner's back in. There is the mistake that he needed from Sky. Manages to claw it back just in the fast section as well. Oh, but clips the corner. That's not good. That's going to give oh. Ennis the chance, and surely he's going to claw it back on Sky. It was in that long, fast section, but at just at the time, Sky just about manages to catch it. Knox goes flying off the track. That is not good for Knox. He had the lead, but that's going to be changed any moment as Sky is blistering through but Ennis just gives chase he manages to creep through didn't quite have the corner breaking set there and it looks like Sky will be taking the win with JWH bringing in third place at the moment Ennis well he's gonna get second that's the case but uh, Sky takes the win and well it's all going wrong for Knox here as he bounces off the track that's gonna be zero points for Knox that's not what he need and that's gonna give Sky a massive advantage well currently it's not really about Sky anymore it's about not it's about Knox and uh, JWH there's a small point difference between them, very, very small, and the battle commences once again as Knox takes the lead. My God, he's good at this. He just pounds ahead with Enos just behind him, and Sky and JWH are just just forced to uh, watch the uh, dust fly up, but Knox makes a small mistake, and that puts him on the... Uh, well, defensive, as we would call that in an FPS, but uh, he is still in the race. He could still he could still do this quite well as Enos and uh, well Sky are just plowing ahead through the fields. The Sky is taking a nice lead. Enos just inching by. Actually, we could be seeing the first win by Enos, but Sky is not going to have anything of that as they both are fighting for it right now. Enos almost in the lead, but Sky just a little bit quicker, trying to get by. He's still in the lead. Enos just inches behind him, milliseconds as JWH he is trying to uh, catch up towards the pack, knocks me while just behind the rest, as uh, right now it's looking extremely difficult as Knox is actually right on top of Enos, oh, almost managed to get that second place, but Enos is just, just flips himself over the scoreline there D-Man. We're going out, what's the next uh, track? Well, in total, I can tell you Sky's on 83 now because he got 40 from the last round. Knox uh, came through with 29, so my quick maths it makes that uh, 53. Uh, I think around about. Uh, Ennis came through with 29 as well, so he's on 53. JWH bringing up the rear, but he's got 40 points from the last one, so that puts him on 61. So he's, uh, he's technically still holding on to second place, I believe, uh, just about. Right, it's ready to go underway here on this very last track for this ESWC NL Track Maniac Qualifier for the for the finals in San Jose. And right off the start, it's ridiculously fast as Knox is uh, sees JWH and uh, Sky just in front of him. Knox and Enos are both at 63 points right now, and JWH is just eight points ahead of them. So, if either Knox or Enos get eight get eight more points, uh, eight points more than uh, than uh, JWH do then, well, one of them will go towards the final in San Jose because, remember, we have two slots uh, for uh, the players and extra, uh, in addition to, uh, well, Xenogear, who's going anyway to defend his title. But back to the track, uh, well, it look, currently looks like that, uh, that Knox is uh, doing very well as the sky is right in front of him. JWH just slowly behind him as Knox hits the side. Absolute shame on that one. This is Enos as well as Knox messes up one more time. Enos going for uh, for JWH and uh, Sky. And we're just waiting for JWH and Sky to make a small mistake as uh, Sky crosses the finish line and gets full points. JWH second, Enos third, and, and Knox fourth. Three thousandths of a second separating them now, I believe. Sky and JWH going head on head. 
They are first and second in the championship at the moment. Sky with a rather sizable lead, so JWH needs to pull off a couple of good results here. And at the moment, he's in third place with Sky and Enos just in front of him. With Knox bringing up the rear. As JWH creeps into second place. Just about catch up. You can see Sky driving near perfect race, but Jade Woodridge and Ennis are not far behind as we go into the spiral at the moment. It comes off the corner. You come up with incredible speeds, and Jade Woodridge just overbraked a little bit there. Sky and Ennis managed to get a little advantage over him. Could be bouncing out. Ennis just sliding a little too much as he came out of the corner. But it is very much neck and neck. No players making a mistake yet. They're just hoping that Sky makes some sort of error as he comes into the final complex. They're hoping he clips him, but JWH clips the side. That's going to give Sky the advantage, takes the lead, and it's right in behind. It's JWH in third with Knox bringing up the rear. Remember, Enos only needs an eight point advantage over JWH, nine points even, right now, because of the uh, point structure and how it all works. Right now we're going to go on towards the uh, next track here. Is, uh, all the players are right on top of each other, all four of them just inching away as uh, well sky is taking the lead but Knox is just around as Enos takes the lead as well the two lower bra uh, the, the two lower bracket finalists are leading the way now they're lighting the cave as we so as so to speak as Knox is taking the lead Enos right behind him Ooh, as Knox barely hits the wall as sky is right on top of him where's JWH he is ages away as Enos is still in the lead and Knox well he is, he's, watching, uh, he's watching Sky and Enos right in front of him. And he really wants both of them to make a mistake as Enos makes a mistake as Knox is taking the lead again. And that will give him uh, six points if anything happens. As Sky is in the lead right now. And, well, JWH will only get three if he finishes on this one. So that's a three-pointer difference, which is inches away closer to that incredibly, uh, well, incredibly, uh, incredible final as the game... It's getting closer and closer. 30 for Sky, 40 for Enos, 12 for Knox, and 10 for JWH. A five-pointer difference only right now. Yeah, so he needs him to either finish third and grab the win. But at the moment, there's another two laps to go, I believe, on this. And as we see, JWH edging the lead with Sky, making his way through. Sky proving why he should be going to the finals. He's managed to uh, lead the charge in a lot of these races. Pick up many first places, that's why he's got the massive points lead, so it's really a battle for second place. Who will be going with him to San Jose? That is the question. At the moment, he's lighting the track up. Enos, he's a long way back behind JWH, and it is the battle between these we need to watch. JWH needs to get that points advantage over Enos to try and stay in it, stay with a chance, bounces oh! off the side, oh he was in first place as well, Enis goes screeching through into second place, Sky in the lead, it doesn't matter where he finishes, it's all down to Enis, 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 exhaust pipe, trailing Sky all the way, it's fantastic stuff, Knox has just literally put himself oh out my. of it, he's given up, oh my. Oh, Enis goes through, oh. Enis picks up the win, Enis at the moment in the lead and a chance to go to San Jose. A, a chance to go to San Jose indeed, 24 uh, for Enos and 14 for JWH, a 10-pointer difference right now. He is one foot on the plane towards San Jose right now. It's looking more and more ex extreme as it is right now. Enos must dry perfectly, no stress of course, but no pressure. No pressure. As JWH is taking the lead right, re re the lead right now, Knox trailing just behind him. As Knox almost flies off the track, uh, as well, J Enos is just behind him. JWH, he needs to win. Uh, he needs to drive a perfect track. There's a 10 pointer difference. If he wins right now, he, then he grabs 10 points. If Enos gets second, oh, but he clips the side and he barely gets through the loop right now. The loop, the loop, he's still in third as uh, Sky is trailing behind. He's going on casual mode because he knows that he's going to go to San Jose anyway. But Enos in third place, he's just hoping, just hoping there's a glimmer of hope inside his brain that JWH will make a critical, critical mistake as he is fighting it out with Knox right now as there they go for the final test and JWH actually hits the side and he's going for it and he has finished the, the across the finish line as night now 36 versus 24 uh, Right now it's a 29 versus 28 versus 24 and 
<laughs> Something. You were looking at the screen. Yeah, hey, man, this is the last range. This is where it happens. It is very close, and it is between Jade Roulet and Ennis. And, well, we need the other players to really make a difference because the points gap is really decided by them players so if they do throw any controllers any keys down I've never seen a man press the keyboard harder than Sky he really means it when he corners <laughs> and at the moment he's just bringing up the rear so it stands to Knox Knox and Ennis just edging away JWH needs to get himself in it but he is in second place just behind Ennis I don't know I'm sure the admin can tot up the points and work it out for us but it looks like it is going to be very, very close as they make their way through. JWH got quite a, quite a gap between them. And it's really just pumping ahead. That orange bright car right alongside Knox at the moment. Knox with the lead, though, coming through. I've got a feeling it's about two points between them. I may well be wrong with that. My maths was never greatest. Knox oh. takes the win. Ennis, second place. JWH in third with Sky bringing up the rear. Didn't mean anything for Sky. He's going to go to the final. The question is, who else? WWH goes to San Jose together with Sky here at the ESWC qualifier. And I see a lot of relief coming up there. Oh my, that was a great game, guys.